Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another colorful look. You know, summer is right around the corner and I just feel like before spring is over, I really wanna try and do some more, kind of more colorful spring pastel looks. So the product that really inspired this look is this new Florence by Mills What's My Line Eyeliner in the shade rolling. I've been wanting to play with this ever since I got it. Um, so I thought we'd play with some pretty blue liner and just do something very simple yet impactful. This look is very, very easy and you don't have to use blue. You can use whatever color you want. So um, you can kind of use the technique that I used today, but you can use any color you want. You don't have to use blue. But I was just super in the mood to play with some blue today. I actually really loved the way that it turned out. So, so if you've been liking my colorful looks, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite color is to play with no matter what time of the year. Just whatever color, uh, whatever your favorite color is. Mine is definitely purple, but now I'm really starting it starting to get into blue. I never thought I would love to wear blue eyeshadow, but yeah, purple and blue, those are like my two favorite colors to play with. Um, so let me know in the comments down below and then subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll be notified every time that I post a new video. So without further ado, let's get started. I've got my coffee. It's an early morning this morning. It is currently 6.06. .06. I started filming at five. So uh, it's an early morning, but I was excited to get up and film this with y'all, so make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, and let's get into it. Alright guys, it is 5 o'clock once again. I'm awake, I'm ready to do this, and I'm ready to play with some color today. I hope y'all are. Um, summer is fast approaching, so I want to kind of get in some more colorful spring looks, and yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I'm also going to be kind of trying out new products, uh, just a few new things um, that I'll, of course, review and kind of go into more detail in my monthly makeup kit video, but I do kind of need that time to try them out. So the first of those is the Jane Iredale Smooth Affair Facial Primer and Brightener. Um, it says it has anti-aging properties to even the skin tone. It's luminous. It's supposed to help your makeup last longer, so I'm not a huge primer person, um, but I figured I would go ahead and give this a try. So, um, I think, ooh, it's kind of, moi like, feels like a moisturizer. Okay, so I'll go ahead and apply that all over. I was originally only going to apply it to my T-zone, but it's quite moisturizing, so I'll go ahead and take that all over the face. Alright, honestly, just looks and feels like a moisturizer. Um, there's no shimmer or anything either, so that's nice. All right, and then I'm also going to go in with this Jane Iredale Palmist Hydration Spray. I've only used this once or twice. Um, I just remember the fragrance being kind of strong, but I'm going to go and mist my face with this as well, and then I'll use it later on. Yeah, really, really strong smell. Oh, it has alcohol in here. Yeah, it kind of has like an alcohol, I don't know what to describe the smell, like it's not fresh or citrusy, kind of smells like, I don't know, but yeah, I can definitely smell the alcohol. Alright, and then uh, I want to play with some blue on the eyes, so I want to use my Danessa Myricks Prism FX Hydrating Face Lotion, um, just kind of on the high points of the face, it's this really pretty kind of iridescent um, kind of lotion. It reminds me a lot of Max Strobe Cream. So if you've ever used that, it's very, very similar to that, but it has like a lavender blue shift to it. So I thought that'd be kind of fun to play with today. All right, and then now onto actual makeup. Um, so I thought for today I would use my Aeroprez Oat Milk Foundation. I just haven't used this in a while. Um, so yeah, I use this in the shade Chai. And I'm just going to dot that over my face. It's got really, really good coverage. So you don't need too much. And it's so, so moisturizing. Oh my gosh. If you have dry skin or even mature skin or you just feel like you just need a foundation that's going to hydrate the skin, moisturize the skin, feel really nice on the skin, this is such a great one. It's been a favorite of mine for a long time. 
All right, and then I'm just gonna blend it out with this Young Blood YB3 brush. All right, so for concealer, I'm gonna use my Kosas Revealer Concealer, and I'm using it in the shade 3.5. Yeah, I love the combination of this foundation with this concealer. They both have a very similar undertone. It's definitely more in that kind of yellow, golden undertone. And they're both extremely moisturizing formulas. So I find that they just work so well together on the skin. And if you have dry skin, or if, again, like I said, if you just need some more moisture, the two of these together is so, so nice. So I want to do a little bit of cream bronzer, cream contour. So I'm going to take this Alley Oop Stack uh, in the shade Sunkissed. And I'm going to use the bronzer that's in this stack. It comes with, ugh, if I can open it, it comes with a uh, blush, bronzer, and highlighter. And they're all creams. I showed this in my monthly makeup kit video, but in case you missed that, um, I really, really, really like this cream bronzer. So I'm just going to take it on this small brush. Really nice, easy to blend, creamy formula. And this is a really nice contour shade on my skin tone. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my sponge, just blend that out. Yeah, this formula is really nice. It's definitely on the cool side, so it's not like... A product that I would love to use just like as an all-over kind of bronzer but it makes for a really nice contour shade it's very very sheer so I feel like I have to build it up a little bit but I just love how easy it is to use very beginner friendly too if you're kind of hesitant to try cream contour because um, you know some formulas can be a little bit kind of harder to work with or just so overly pigmented that you really have to work to blend it out, I think you would really like this. All right, so I'm gonna go and set my face down with my Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder in the shade two. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter and I'm actually gonna take my Mob highlighter. This is the M49 highlighter and this is my little custom mob palette that I made. I just love the formula of these powders, so I'm going to dip into her. Mob actually has minis now, so you can get minis of all their eyeshadows, their blushes, bronzers, highlighters. So if you've been wanting to try Mob, but you don't want to commit yet, they do have minis available now. And they're so, so cute. Um, and you get a good amount of product in there to really try out, so I would recommend... Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Forgot how intense that was. Oh, so pretty. Love that. I need to play with this palette more. Um, I really love their blushes too. Oh my gosh, so pretty. All right, so let's do some bronzer. I actually have a new bronzer that I've been playing around with all weekend. Um, this is the Shantikai Real Bronze in the shade Serena. Serena? Um, but it's really cool. It's got like this, hello slight sheen to it very creamy very buttery honestly when i felt it if it, it almost feels like a cream um uh, and that's what i really love about a lot of the shantikai powders they just feel almost like a cream powder hybrid and they blend so beautifully on the skin so i'm going to continue to play with this again i will update you in my monthly makeup kit video but i just want to actively be uh, trying out these products. So I'm going to take this on my Ruffer 05. And I know Shantikai is so, so, so incredibly pricey. I will say that I do love that they give back um, a percentage of their profits to different um, organizations around the world to help with wildlife. And it's also a family owned business which I think is awesome like if you actually go to their website and see you know who is the CFO the CEO like in charge of just various parts of the 
the company. Um, it's all family, and I just think that's so cool, and I love supporting that. So not only are their products beautiful, but I just think it's really cool and something you don't see every day when a whole family is really involved in the company. All right, and then for blush, I, th I think I'm actually going to use the blush in this alley -oop stack because um, I haven't used it yet, so I want to use this today. I'm just going to use my finger. Ooh, super creamy. And that's what the blush looks like. Really pretty, kind of peachy pink. Oh wow, that blended out so nicely. So I'm going to go in with the Jane Iredale Pomace Hydration Spray again. I have not tried this on top of makeup yet actually, so I'm curious to see if this does anything magical. Gosh, the smell though. It's really hard to get past the smell. Alright, so for the eyes, I'm going to start with this Florence by Mills What's My Line Eyeliner in the shade Rolling. It's this really pretty sky blue. And these are very, very similar to the same Moi Visionary Makeup Crayons, except they're a little bit skinnier. Um, they're little twist-up retractable pencils. And this is what rolling looks like but I thought that would be such a nice base for a blue look so I'm just gonna start working this across my lash line just get the color down I can go in and perfect it in a little bit all right then I'm gonna start creating my wing Actually, just kidding. I'm going to start on the lower lash line and then create my wing. Oh my gosh, this pencil is so creamy. But yeah, that's kind of the idea that I had. And then we can always go in and just kind of build it up as we go. All right, so that's the eyes. I actually didn't even need to like go in and clean anything up because this pencil is so precise. Like I really don't have to do anything. All right, there we go. That's kind of the idea that I had. Honestly, this with some mascara would look so good. I kind of don't want to mess with it, but I also kind of want to add a little bit of dimension. Maybe I'll take I'll take a little bit of this shade. This is in the Florence by Mills UBU eyeshadow palette, and this is the shade Creativity or Creative. Sorry, just kind of matte blue. It's a little bit deeper than the liner shade, but I think that'll be good. I'm gonna load up this Refer 14 brush, this small kind of blending brush, and I'm just gonna start fluffing this shade along the lower lash line just to give a little bit of depth right around the eye. I'm also going to take that on my lower lash line. Nice, that just kind of created a little bit of like an ombre effect. Ooh, I like that. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I like it matte, actually. I'm not going to add any shimmer or anything. Alright, so that's it. That's the eyes. That was so easy. That probably took me less time than any other like normal eyeshadow look that was so so easy I'm a huge fan of these pencils I hope she comes out with more shades all right so I'm gonna let my mascara dry and then kind of clean up under the eye because I kind of was a little messy um, but I'm gonna do my lip while it's drying so I'm going to take my Mineral Fusion Elegant Lip Pencil. I'm going to take my Alima Pure, um, these are the Velvet Lipsticks in the shade Lucy. Alright guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this inspired you to play with some color. And I absolutely love the way that this turned out. It actually turned out a lot better than I thought. This pencil, oh my goodness, this pencil is so, so nice. You cannot mess this up. So this was such a fun look to create. You can, of course, do this with any color, black, 
gray, brown. You don't have to do something super colorful, which honestly, black would be so, so gorgeous. Maybe I'll have to do that on Instagram or something. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. Broken roses, I can't focus, I can't focus. Something precious like you should be never on